Just when you thought federal parliament couldn't get any more unpredictable, Pauline Hanson has pulled a stunt even she describes as extreme. The One Nation leader entered the Senate dressed in a burqa, stunning fellow senators. She says her protest had a serious message. But Attorney General George Brandis labelled it appalling to the applause of colleagues. Thank you, Minister. Senator Hanson. I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this parliament. In light of what is happening with national security, there has been 13 foiled national threats against us with terrorism, three that have been successful and Australians have lost their lives. Terrorism is a true threat to our country. Many Australians are very much in fear of it. Order. What I would like to ask on behalf of the Australian people, considering there has been a large majority of Australians wish to see the banning of the burqa. Our two former Prime Ministers, Order. Julia Gillard... Senator Hanson, the time for asking the question has been... Really... Attorney General, Senator Brandis. Thank you, Mr President. Senator Hanson, no, we will not be banning the burqa. Now, Senator Hanson, I am not going to pretend to ignore the stunt that you have tried to pull today by arriving in the chamber dressed in a burqa when we all know that you are not an adherent of the Islamic faith. And I would ca caution you and counsel you, Senator Hanson, with respect to be very, very careful of the offence you may do to the religious sensibilities of other Australians. We have about half a million Australians in this country of the Islamic faith, and the vast majority of them are law-abiding good Australians. And if Senator Hanson, it is absolutely consistent with being a good law-abiding Australian and being a strict adherent Muslim. Now, Senator Hanson, for the last four years I have had responsibility preeminently among the ministers, subject to the Prime Minister, for national security policy. And I can tell you, Senator Hanson, that it has been the advice of each Director General of Security with whom I have worked and each Commissioner of the Australian Federal Police with whom I have worked, that, that it is vital for their intelligence and law enforcement work that they work cooperatively with the Muslim community and to ridicule that community, to drive it into a corner, to mock its religious garments is an appalling thing to do. And I would ask you to reflect on what you have done. Order. 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 Order, Senators. <laughs> senators on my left, please resume your seats. Senator Wong, on a point of order. Um, uh, if I could, by leave, make a very short statement. Is leave granted? I leave. think, I think the Senator Hanson Young, are you objecting to leave? I'm leave not Senator Hanson Young. Oh, please Senator address Hanson, me. My apologies. Are you, are you objecting to leave being granted? Yes, I am. Well, leave is not granted, Senator Wong. Senator Wong, leave is not being granted. A point of order, Senator Wong. Point of order. order. I make Senator a Hanson, point I'm listening to a point of order first. Point of order, Senator Thank Wong. Thank you. My point of order is this. Uh, if I had the opportunity, I would move to congratulate the Leader of the Government on that, of that statement. Well, and I make this point on behalf of all, all, all of us on this side of the there, chamber. There is, there is no it is one thing to wear religious one. dress as a sincere act of faith. It is another to wear there it as a stunt no of order, here in the Senate chamber. Senator, Wong. Senator Hanson, are you asking your supplementary question? Or My supplementary, supplementary question supplementary is... Supplementary question. Supplementary is the Attorney-General aware that the... The burqa is not a religious requirement at all. I, my question is, will the Attorney-General then ban the burqa in this House for, for in future as a security risk? And also the fact is that the people of, of Australia 
have the right to see the face of a person that they elect to this parliament, and they are the person who is actually going to be making decisions in their parliament on, be on their behalf. Thank you. Uh, before I call the Attorney General, it's in the purview of the presiding officers, not the Attorney General, to determine what happens uh, as far as security is concerned within Parliament House. The Speaker and I have made arrangements that anyone who enters this premises with their face covered by whatever means is clearly identified prior to entering the building. And further, uh, the first thing I ascertained when you walked into the building dressed as you in the, the chamber dressed as you were, I wanted to ascertain who you were, and that was verified to me. I make no further comment about the dress that you wore. Uh, Attorney General, do you have any uh, comment that you wish to make in relation to uh, that matter? Attorney General. No. Thank you. Uh, Senator Hanson, a final supplementary question. I will. If a person who wears a balaclava or a helmet into a bank or any other buildings or even on the floor of the court, they must be removed. Why is it not the same case for someone who is covering up their face and cannot be identified? Will the government make changes to these laws? Attorney-General. No. Thank you, Attorney-General.